Hi folks, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in version 19 of CyberLink Power Director, looking at some of the cool new features in the program. A pretty cool new feature added here to video overlays, and I can access them by going to the video overlay PIP objects room, is something called sketch animation. And if I click on that subcategory here in the video overlay room, I can get these little overlays and as you can see they're animated so they look like they're drawn live right on your video. So I can drag these onto my video, overlay them onto my video and actually make it look like I'm kind of drawing in real time on the video. So I'm going to take this little circle, drag it down here to my timeline onto video track 2 right above an existing video. And I can resize these sketches by just selecting the clip on the timeline and then dragging on the corner handles. I can resize them and position them wherever I'd like. And then I can customize them and I can do that simply by double clicking on the clip on the timeline or selecting it on the timeline and clicking on the designer function button. This opens up the sketch designer and it's here I can create some customization here for this sketch. So for instance I can control the width of it I can control the color of it. Let's make it uh, make it something that's very distinct. There we go. Well, I don't know, maybe red is the most distinct, huh? I can flip it so that rather than beginning in the upper left and ending in the upper left, it can uh, begin and end in the lower left or in the upper right. And then my favorite is that you can control the animation. Now, right now, the object is drawn, it takes one second for it to be drawn, and then it freezes, that circle freezes for four seconds. Well, I wanted like to make the animation a little bit slower, so I'm going to change that to two seconds for the animation, and then I can choose to leave that on four seconds or however long I want to. The ending effect is by default just disappears. You can add an ending effect of having it either reverse the drawing or fade out. Pretty cool, huh? and I'll click OK. Once I've done that, I'm going to pull the playhead back. You can see the animation when I click the play button. There is my drawing. Pretty cool, huh? Now, of course, if you were tracking with an object, you can see how the girl that I've circled there starts to move off the picture. You can use keyframing to track with an object so that whatever it is you circled, the circle stays with that person or object. But it's fairly simple and it looks pretty cool. It kind of has that sort of John Madden drawn live on the screen look. And a very nice new feature here in version 19 of CyberLink Power Director. Now, if you want to know everything there is to know about this program, you want to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. If you want to know absolutely everything step by step and how to use them, check out the moviepicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director. It's available on amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti, the author, and I hope to see you again real soon.